The Securities and Exchange Commission is playing poker with the cryptocurrency business by making brash threats to leave the United States as the regulator increases pressure on the industry to conform. The crypto sector's big companies are banking on the SEC and Washington to modify their stance on the business, after hearing what they perceive to be bluffs from the crypto watchers. In an effort to rally support and send a message to US politicians concerned that the country may miss out on a key technological innovation, executives from firms including crypto exchange, Coinbase, and blockchain services company Ripple have piled on with comments laying into the SEC and signaling plans to shift business overseas. Last week, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong claimed the SEC was on a personal crusade in its aggressive stance of some cryptocurrency startups. He went on to say that Chair Gary Gensler had turned against the crypt business, despite having been an advocate for it when teaching economics at the MIT Sloan School of Management. The SEC stands out from the crowd a little bit. In an interview with CNBC's Dan Murphy, Armstrong said as much in Dubai. I don't think Gensler is necessarily trying to regulate the industry as much as maybe curtail it, but he's created some lawsuits, and I think it's quite unhelpful for the industry in the US at large radaring how CEO of Ripple also tore into the SEC this week when asked for his message to Gensler as the company announced an expansion into Dubai. After asking who, he went on to suggest that Ripple will have spent $200 million defending itself against a case filed by the regulator. By the end of this time, as a US-born citizen and employee of a corporation with American roots, it pains me to feel this way. The United States is falling behind, and not just slightly. When asked about the difficulties of investing in the economy, Garland House replied, The tough thing about this is that you have a country that I think has put politics ahead of policy. The regulatory frameworks for virtual assets in Dubai and Europe have proven to be far more advantageous than in other regions. The United States, Garland House said, is absolutely trapped. Threats to leave the United States have been made by Garland House, Armstrong, and other crypto industry leaders. Ripple, Coinbase, Kraken, and Paxos are just a few of the firms that the regulator has taken significant enforcement proceedings against for allegedly violating securities rules, and these cases illustrate the growing fear within the sector that the sex crackdown is getting too harsh. The SEC believes that the vast majority of tokens on the market are securities, and should thus be subject to considerably more stringent registration and disclosure requirements. Naturally, cryptocurrency companies have rejected the idea that the assets they issue or list on their platforms should be regulated as securities. One obvious concern that arises in light of the increasing crackdown on cryptocurrencies in the United States is whether or not the crypto industries would relocate outside of the country. Please leave a comment, like this post, and subscribe to our channel. Cryptocurrency firms are most concerned that investors may flee the market in a panic if the industry is subject to stricter regulation. It's not uncommon for the heads of cryptocurrency firms to act arrogantly. They fear that this will lead to investors acting irrationally and lead to a bubble of inflated asset prices. Ripple CEO Garland House has been making threats to relocate the firm outside of the United States since 2020. In October of same year, he mentioned that many international locations were being considered for a possible Ripple expansion, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, Singapore, Japan, and the United Arab Emirates. So far, that hasn't materialized. Meanwhile, Coinbase CEO hinted at a London fintech conference in April that the company would relocate from the US to elsewhere, if the exchange doesn't gain regulatory approval in the US. A month later, everything is crystal clear, Coinbase is not leaving the United States, according to CEO Brian Armstrong. Over 50 million Americans report owning some kind of cryptocurrency, making the United States a massive market for the sector. A poll by Morning Consult for Coinbase found that elite companies place a disproportionate amount of emphasis on overseas markets. To be honest, I just don't see it happening that you entirely get out of the US market. In an interview with CNBC in London, Jonathan Levin, co-founder of Ching Analysis, said that cryptocurrency industry leaders are exploiting officials' worries about regulatory uncertainty in the United States, while other jurisdictions, such as the European Union and the United Kingdom, have pushed forward with proposed regulatory frameworks for digital assets. At a Financial Times conference this week, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce claimed that the lack of a regulatory environment in the United States was shooting ourselves in the foot. 
She lauded the European Union for its efforts to streamline regulations governing the crypto sector. Sometime in 2024, the European Union EU, is scheduled to enact the first comprehensive set of laws for digital assets, also known as markets and crypto assets. According to Reuters, Pierce was quoted as saying, it's really commendable that Europe was able to get that done so quickly. Pierce was referring to the European Union's single market, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, which recently stated that it is more difficult for the company to operate into the US, and that it is minded to establish a regulated operation, was quoted by a partner at the law firm Clifford Chance as saying that other jurisdictions, such as the UK and the EU, are changing their legislative frameworks to create clear regulatory regimes for exchange. The company's chief strategy officer, Patrick Hillman, recently commented on how baffling the United States has been over the past six months. He cited the activities of the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, against Coinbase as an example. The U.S. crypto sector may be making frivolous threats at the moment, but if regulators in the U.S. don't go forward with meaningful regulation, there might be a serious problem. We had great aspirations for the rest of the Canadian blockchain sector, but the current regulatory climate has made it impossible for us to continue operating in Canada, the cryptocurrency exchange Binance stated in a tweet on Friday. Unfortunately, Binance can no longer operate profitably in the Canada market as a result of updated regulations concerning stable currencies and investor restrictions for cryptocurrency exchanges. As of February, crypto asset trading platforms in Canada were barred from facilitating the purchase or deposit of stable currencies, without the consent of the Canadian Securities Administrators CSA. The CSA tweeted on Friday a list of due diligence tests it will do on any cryptocurrency trading platform seeking license. Binance said that it disagreed with the new restrictions but still wanted to collaborate with Canadian regulators to shape a more favourable environment for digital currencies. Binance activities in North America have come under growing scrutiny from authorities over the last year, and the company now looks to be winding down its presence there. Since Binance co-founder and current CEO, CZ, is a Canadian citizen, the firm has described its potential withdrawal from the United States as having sentimental importance. I've come to the opinion that it's saber-rattling rather than a serious threat to leave the US. But if the SEC keeps moving in the direction it is, many companies will have little option but to try something new. It's possible, in light of the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC through growing pressure, that the Bitcoin industry's threats to leave the United States are a strategic game of poker. It remains to be seen if the threats made by industry heavyweights like Ripple's CEO Brad Garland House and Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong to move their operations offshore would come to fruition. Leaving the huge US market might be a bad idea for the crypto sector as a whole. There is a real fear amongst industry participants regarding regulatory ambiguity and the sex hard attitude on cryptocurrency. A lack of well considered and transparent rules in the United States might pose serious problems for the cryptocurrency sector, prompting some businesses to go elsewhere for growth opportunities. Only time will tell how regulators and industry participants will negotiate the complicated environment that is cryptocurrency in the United States. How do you think the activities of the SEC in regulating the cryptocurrency business in the United States will affect the market? Do you really expect the crypto industry to abandon the United States? Leave your feedback in the comment box. We hope this video has shed light on the potential challenges and opportunities that lie ahead in the cryptocurrency market. Stay tuned to Market Empire for more insightful content and expert analysis on the ever-evolving world of finance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos.